Good morning, all you beautiful people. It is cold as shit. Look at the frost on the truck. There's just frost on everything. Except for the driveway. The driveway's mud. And then it froze. And now it's a damn speed bump. Multiple speed bumps, I would say. Oh, I know I said I was going to post like multiple videos and stuff, but then, uh, then I worry that I'm going to annoy people by posting so much. So then I don't. <laughs> I just want to like upload a bunch of videos and stuff and, and then I don't because like, I'm afraid that I'm going to piss people off who have subscribed, but like, I don't know. I started a TikTok. Figure maybe I'll do my daily posting there, just my goofy shit. That way I can be me and I don't feel like I'm annoying my subscribers because well, people on TikTok expect shit every single day. So I'm going to start trying to get decent at that and post a bunch of TikToks and stuff and have a little fun there. I've been working on the old dump bed. It's been a work in progress. It's a mess around here. I uh, It hasn't been frozen really at all. It's mid-January, and we're working with mud. And actually, this is a lot better than what it was, because that pile right there, that's snow. To the right of it, that's all mud. I scraped about three and a half cubic yards of mud off of the driveway from between the back of the trailer over here to right there. So that's all, well now it's frozen mud, but it's all mud. It's ridiculous. I mean, I got some drainage right there from the water. I dug a, uh, a spot out in a U-shape through here with my machine. You can see the drainage right here too to kind of break up the soil and let the water seep out because it was all compacted. But uh, what I've been doing with this guy right here, you can see the frost is everywhere, it's so cold. All on the edges of everything. It's kind of cool looking though, it's a nice effect. But the holes that are in here, the other side was all the way up to the top, all the way down. And the only thing that was here was these pieces all the way up. And then down, and there was a big hole here, big hole there, hole there, hole into the inside of the bed. You can see how they're rails are just gone upper rails not so bad on this side it's rusted out right in there and up here is pretty good so i'll probably be able to just there's a lot of unseen rust or it's really thick rust that you hit it with a hammer it breaks off but i probably have to uh replace that and it's not too bad over there on that side of the top rail but let's come over here to show you what i've done yeah, a little few holes there. Look at, that. Look at how that froze. That's really cool. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. That's just ice. I really don't know how it froze like that or why. That was cool as shit. Look at that. That's awesome. But what I replaced was from right here. Back. That's all brand new. Uh, just this angle. And then this piece right here. This is all new. Then right here from here to here has been replaced all the way down to right here. And then this piece right here has been replaced from here to there. So that whole structure in pieces got cut out. So I did this piece first, then cut out this, and then cut out this. And then I got to replace right there. In the, looking for my finger. Through here, I'm going to replace this all the way up to the front. So I've had to do it in stages, that way it didn't uh, buckle the metal or anything. And then when I did this up here, I didn't realize in the beginning that this support was actually bent outward. So I put it in, and then I replaced the top rail. And it was before I replaced the top rail that I looked downward like this. And I realized that it bowed outward. So when I put this piece in, this support structure is rigid, so there's a spot right here, there's a gap that I had to fill with metal, and this is actually maybe 
quarter of an inch back. Um, and that's, and then the back rail, this, this kind of runs upward because I didn't re I was doing this in the dark. I was trying to get it done during the light, but I ran out of time. I mean, I've got lights out here and stuff, but I didn't realize that that end over there was up maybe about a quarter of an inch or so. So it kind of, this looks like it goes up, but you know what, for a $150 dump bed, and really I paid 80 bucks for some metal and 35 bucks for some welding wire on the interwebs. Um, not too bad so far. So I really don't have much into it except for my time. That's about it. So that's just one of the things that I'm working on. I mean, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what you guys would want to even talk about while I'm waiting for snow. I mean, there's not even snow up north. Like, uh, people are going out on the trails, and they're I'm a member of some Facebook groups that do, uh, you know, trail reports and stuff, and they're just telling people to stay home. The trails are just trash. So, there's no good snow anywhere. It's not just here. So, it's like, what do you do? And then I'm broken. And then, uh, I mean, I discovered that I was a little low on iron before. So, I started taking an iron supplement. Because I was always tired and everything, and I couldn't figure out why. And then I figured out that I was on, I was low on iron. Um, so I started taking an iron supplement. Well, apparently, one iron pill a day was too much. It made me feel like shit. So I cut it in half, and I started doing halves. And then uh, um, just slowly, I started feeling tired, and when I fell asleep, my heart would be racing and stuff, and feeling, you know, just kind of weird and in the head like a weird cooling sensation i couldn't figure out why or what was going on so i was like man i might have to go to the doctor or something but uh i stopped taking the iron and the vitamin that i was taking and i for the past few days i started to feel better not all tired all the time and all that so that's good hopefully that was the reason why my collarbone was healing slowly because it also causes slow healing to be um, either low on iron or too much iron. But it is a beautiful morning out. Not really going to get to do much outside today. I got the babies and uh, the other half is at work right now. So just going to enjoy the day with my chitlins. One of them is at his grandma's house, so we won't be able to enjoy the day with that one, but when it gets back, we will. And for those of you that don't see snow and ice on the daily, it's kind of cool how it crystallizes and the things that it does and stuff. Living in a spot where it gets below freezing and everything freezes up. Like uh, this ice over here. It's kind of cool. I used to love playing with this ice when I was a kid where it's you can tell underneath the ice i'm wearing flip-flops out here these are my house shoes underneath it's real, it's real thin but underneath there's like an air gap between whatever liquid is in there and the ice you step on it and break through it yeah i used to love doing that one as a kid it's cool on the playground it was mucho fun yes well, there's the old big rig that's what the dump bed's going on. So, yep. Up to eight minutes of talking about nothing right now. I figured I'd stop in. Nobody comments. I mean, I get uh, I get comments, but nobody comments and tells me what they want to see. So it makes it very difficult. Uh, still running the giveaway. We've almost made it to 200 subscribers, which is good, but it's going slower than I expected it to. But I really don't have a means to put out any good content right now, except for just bullshitting with you guys. Um, trash can's full. Forgot to take the trash out Friday, so <laughs> didn't come pick it up. We live way back off the beaten path, so. They've run up the driveway a couple times and grabbed the can, but it's been really muddy, so I understand why they didn't. I wouldn't either. It's my bad. I mean, I guess I could have put it in the bucket of the machine and taken it down to the road, but. Oh, well, I forgot. So check out the TikTok. Uh, it's just the same as it is here. It's the Thrifty Snowmobiler. You know who it is. I'm going to try to make some better content, some good content on there. Maybe that'll help me make better content on here. Um, 
I mean, viewership is up, but the lack of snow, I, I've noticed a downward trend in the views. And the most viewed video is the seat removal for the ski -Doo. That one gets a lot of views. So people are searching for repair videos. And we've got very few that are here for other videos. So I have to build a following, I guess, in order to get more people here to view the videos of the riding and stuff. Um, the intentions are to do that. I have to uh, get a new piston for the four-wheeler, so that will be running. That will uh, probably be something that happens in the spring. I can't really be wrenching on anything right now with the way my collarbone is. And it may never heal is what the doctor says. So he said it's starting to heal on the bottom, but it may never finish. So they got me going back in March to take a look at it, do some x-rays and see where it's at. Um, so we'll know more there if I have to live with this or not, or if I have to get surgery, but it's like $11,000 for surgery, and that's on the low end. So, I ain't got that kind of money. <laughs> that shit's crazy. It's crazy how much they charge for something like that. I get it, it's a specialized skill, but like, what if somebody doesn't have insurance like me? You know, and it's covered under my brother's homeowner's insurance, but he's only got $5,000 worth of coverage, so... I mean, that right there is just a big old hit. Like, so if his insurance covers five grand and we're already, I mean, I've used up about three grand worth of the resources so far because medical care is expensive. Um, so my insurance kicked it over to his insurance, denied responsibility for it. And then my, and I got a letter in the mail from my insurance company, a denial letter. And I'm like, oh, well, that's lovely. So they canceled my insurance too ash holes so i gotta go based on my brother's insurance and even after that like if it costs eleven thousand dollars and it only covers five and i got medical or doctor's appointments and stuff to go in for other shit to look at it and assessments and shit i mean that five thousand dollars is gonna go quick and then you need eleven thousand dollars for surgery it's ridiculous that somebody can't get health care in this country and actually afford it I understand a doctor goes to school for a long period of time to get an education, but like if you're going to work in a public hospital, you shouldn't expect millions. You shouldn't expect hundreds of thousands of dollars. You shouldn't expect more than like, I'd say a cushiony wage for a medical professional in a hospital. And I mean, I guess an orthopedic surgeon is a specialist. So 150 to $200,000 a year would be an expected uh, income, but the hospital shouldn't be charging their their people, their customers, the amount they do. Um, and then it goes back to uh, pharmaceutical companies and people who ma manufacture medical equipment. Like, I understand that this stuff is like sterile and stuff and it has to be sturdy, but like, you do not have to charge what you charge for this shit. I used to live in Kalamazoo and I lived by the striker plant. And like, I was just curious one time about how much they charge for hospital beds. Holy shit, look how much they charge for one hospital bed. And then they they transfer that cost down to the customer. So, like, it's just ridiculous. I understand that the hospital's got to cover their costs, but we're people, you know? It's ridiculous. I pay my taxes, so I should be able to go to the hospital and get fixed. Not necessarily for free, but I should be able to afford the bill when I leave. When I leave, even if I'm on a payment plan, I should be able to afford my care. Like, it shouldn't have been no $1,000 to go to the hospital for this broken collarbone. Like, it was like, I think it was almost two grand at the ER. I went into the ER. No shit. All they did is a nurse came in and assessed me, talked to me, blood pressure, this, that, and the other thing, asked me questions. And then it went on to somebody else uh, coming in and talking to me, doing a survey. And then I talked to the doctor or a, a student doctor for like less than a minute and then he left i was there for like a couple hours and then the doctor doctor came in talked to me and then i went down did x-rays and then i went back and the doctor doctor talked to me again for like a minute and then turned me loose they didn't do anything they didn't do anything to try to um, set the bone or anything nothing they gave me this cheap ass sling that was like laughable and then they charged me almost two grand and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, you didn't do shit. You didn't do anything. I set foot in this fucking ER. You did an assessment. You you talked to me and took blood pressure and stuff. That is not $2,000 worth of fucking time. 
like I could understand if like uh, they performed procedures and stuff like that, but they didn't perform shit. I didn't do anything except for go in there, get assessed. They touched my arm a couple times and gave me x-rays. And then I got a bill for x-rays. It was $75. So they didn't even charge me for the x-rays. Some radiology company charged me for the x-rays. So it's just stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. All right, I'm going to shut the hell up. If you're uh, lucky enough or dedicated enough to make it this far, thank you for watching. I appreciate your viewership. It means a lot to me. Um, I mean, if you've made it this far and you're not subscribed, hell yeah, go ahead and subscribe. Because, like, if you're willing to watch my videos this long and me just talking about bullshit, go ahead. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be giving away a motorcycle, uh, not a motorcycle, but a motocross helmet. Um, or a snowmobile helmet, depending on what the season is. I mean, it, it wouldn't. Re I mean, I guess it's up to the viewer. Um, once I hit a thousand subscribers, and then our viewership is almost up to be able to get monetized. But once we get monetized, then I'm going to give away the helmet. So the details on that will be then, because if I'm not at a thousand subs, there's no point in even giving details on how to enter, how to do this, how to do that. So you got to be subscribed to be even find out. Um, once we get to a thousand subscribers and I get monetized, then we will do the giveaway and we will use the monetization money, the, the funds that are coming in from the channel to give back to the viewers of the channel. So we'll do little giveaways and then we'll do a big giveaway. And what I'll do is I'll take that snowmobile or take a snowmobile, get a cheap snowmobile, something that's non running or maybe something that's running that needs a lot of work and then just do how to videos on that snowmobile and fix the snowmobile and use the money from the channel to fix the snowmobile. Use the money from the channel to buy the snowmobile. You know, just use the money from the channel to do everything to the snowmobile. So it's not out of pocket costs for me. And then give it to the channel. So give it to a viewer of the channel. So get somebody into riding. And then possibly do that with a four wheeler too. Um, so the future and the sky is the limit. Um, get a four wheeler, fix it. And then maybe eventually in the future, give away a brand new snowmobile. Who knows? I mean, if the channel goes that far to where it gets that many views and that many viewers and it brings in that much monetization money, then hell yes, I will buy a brand new fucking snowmobile and I will give it away to one of my viewers. That's just who I am and that's what I do. You know, I, I want to have fun, but if I'm rich and y'all made me rich, y'all are going to enjoy it too. Like I will give away to my viewers like every day if I had to because <sighs> like really that brings me more joy making other people happy I can't buy happiness like I mean I can buy fun things and they're fun to do but seeing joy in someone else's face that that is true happiness when you have caused somebody else to be happy if they're down on their luck or you know, they're having a shitty day. Even if I were to give a random person a thousand dollars or something, you know, like they give tips, you know, they go to a restaurant, they sit down, they eat, they give a thousand dollar tip. I would do that and make a video of it for you guys, you know, so you guys can see what your viewership is doing. Um, go to restaurants, give away money, give away, you know, helmets, snowmobile gear, four wheelers, four wheeler gear, just stuff like that. Just fun, cool stuff. You know, even if I didn't make anything out of it and I gave it all back to the, the, the viewer, that would make it enough for me. So, I have been gone and talked for almost 20 minutes now. I'm going to shut the hell up and I'm going to let you guys go about your day. So, I hope you guys enjoy your day. I hope you guys got more snow than we do. Um, I just looked at the weather and south of us, like down into like Ohio and like ish areas, they're looking at a snowstorm, possibly Oklahoma and shit. I hope it shifts up, but the weatherman can't predict the weather even if he looked out the front door and saw that it was snowing and yeah. So until next time, keep it classy, y'all.